It started last week. After going to five stores, I finally found it. Toilet paper. I should have been happy, but... Hello, you mangly-haired monster. No! What are you doing here? Doing the most evil thing anyone has done lately. Hogging all the TP. But I need one. And you're my sister. I just want to say that in real life, someone else did this to me. But I don't want to poop all over someone, so for the sake of the story, it was my sister. Who, by the way, is a huge fan of Joe Exotic. You've told my stories for too long. I demand you finally say my real name. Uh, sure? Good. Because my name... Is TP Exquisite. <laughs> Don't all these toilet paper stories remind you the way Joe Exotic treated tigers like money making property? I've seen videos of folks ripping it away from old ladies. If you do that to someone, that's mean. If you maliciously rip toilet paper out of an old lady's hand, I hope you poop your pants right on the spot. That's so gross. <laughs> but they deserve it. I found it interesting that Tiger King and toilet paper are both so popular at the same time and actually found a ton more similarities. So I wondered if we merged these worlds together, what would that look like? In closing, pay no attention to that hatch. Also, we are offering pictures of the world's only golden five ply. It's the only TP made of gold, because you deserve it. Wow. Can I touch it? Absolutely not. Get your filthy hands away from my golden wipes. Pictures only and they're 20 bucks. Oh, you're gonna pay 30 bucks. 450. What do you think of these folks buying it up in stores and reselling it for absurd prices online? Personally, I think it's time someone took a stand. Brother, what's in that hatch? Are you here to stop me? No, just waiting. For what? Me to fail? No. Unlike your hair, I will never fail. Now that I own the entire world's collection of TP, and I've mixed it with gold, I am unstoppable! TP Exquisite, don't move! We're here specifically to stop you! <gasps> I was waiting for you to poop your pants, but now I think it's just gross. Please don't do it. So who called the cops? Are you the type of person that would call the cops? And what are your thoughts on these tiger zoos or people upselling TP? I feel like maybe they have personal reasons for doing it, like they need the money to help their family, but they're not thinking of others. And in this story, I know someone exactly like that. Hey all you wacky wipers and cool cats in diapers! It's Carol from Bask in the Glory. Your essential business bidet store. I have some good news for you today. We finally put an end to TP Exquisite's disgusting petting zoo. It's just awful what she did. I, I can barely say it. I, I'm sorry, Michael. C can you share? What my wife is trying to say is we found footage of TP Exquisite unethically making her TP. Roll the clip. Now that I have all you mullet men trapped down here, my machine will yank the golden mullet hair right out of your heads. It's the only way to make my golden TP. Wait, is that a camera? Turn that off! And to think, we found that on the day Michael got his new designer diapers and it's just heartbreaking. The good news is we've confiscated all her TP. That's right, justice has been served on TP Exquisite. Off the record, we both think what you did is disgusting. This is far enough. I'll get out here, you hunky piece of mama pie. You think we're dirty cops? We'll let you out when we get to the station. Now that Tiger King has ended, I feel the same way I feel about the pandemic. Lost. I guess I made this video to tell you, if you feel that way too, you are not alone. People are losing their jobs or graduations, and in some cases, people are losing their loved ones. We all feel a little bit lost. And I am curious who you think is right and wrong in this story. The people just looking for that last roll, or the people hoarding it all? Number one, if I thought you were a dirty cop, do you think I'd be polite enough to call you a hunky piece of mama pie? Number two, I wasn't talking to you. Get him. What are you doing? Yes, this is 
all going according to plan. The important thing to remember is the good things. We've all been forced to slow down and relax. I'm getting to spend more time with my wife, and I'm doing something I never thought I'd do. Talking to friends on the phone. <laughs> Even though we're all spread further apart, I feel like we're actually more connected because of it. I'm one of the lucky ones. The worst that's happened to me is I need a haircut. Not everyone is so lucky, so I'm going to link to a fundraiser down in the description. And if you're one of the lucky ones, I'd love for you to join me in sending money to those in need. If you aren't in a position to donate, we're all here for you. Just by staying inside, you are still a hero. I'm gonna leave this up to you. We can end the story right here and move on to another video. Or if you want, I can make a part two so that my sister can get revenge. If you want the story to continue, let me know. And next time, we'll pick the story up from right here. I'm coming for you, Carol, from Bask in the Glory. And I'm not wiping my butt until I get my TP back. Just wanted to take a second to honor all the new board members that joined Patreon recently. Um, thank you. That's just really cool, and it makes these videos awesome. And I, I can't. I'm freaking out. We're all freaking out about this candy thing. Yeah, I can't wait for you all to know.